Hello, my name is Ivan Schneider and I'm working at ProLight. Today I want to show you how you can add a new Modicon PLC in the plant IT system. First, you have to go to the taskbar and make a right mouse click on the symbol for our user management here and open the configuration manager. Okay, we maximize the window and then <clears throat> we have here the tree view of our plant IT server. And here when we open the tree, we see the section stations here. And here we also open that one. And here we have also then a section Schneider Electric Modicon. And here still some stations exist. And here by click on these sections, right mouse click, insert a new entry, we can add then a new Modicon PLC in the operation manager here. For example, it was here named station nine and here with a mouse click on, we can give him a, a new name here. For example, Modicon station 10, for example. And on the right side, you see the parameters here of the new Modicon PLC. So also here you have to set um, the station number of the Modicon PLC to that's a unique number in the plant IT system here. And next important step is for connecting that PLC from our uh, plant IT system is to set the correct IP address. For example, here the 192.168.1. And seven, and for example, here the 110 here. Okay, some more parameters here in that view. You have to possible here to activate the uh, multicast for the UDP connections for sending uh, visual visualization data from the PLC to the server. And here you have to set up for the time synchronization in the PLC what you are using for that and here it's selected use the plant IT master. Okay, so that was yeah the first step to add a station in the configuration manager. Okay, so next step is to create the control expert project here for the Modicon PLC that we are added in our configuration manager. Now I'm continuing with an still existing Modicon PLC that I add before. Okay, so let's find our delivery project for the Modicon that comes with our setup that you find after running the setup in the plant IT ProLight folder. Then you have to go to install. Then you have to go to PLC. That's then the current version 980. Set up. Then select the Schneider Electric. Then the Modicon M580 Liquid. And then you find here the delivery project. Okay. That I'm copying before in an extra folder that I created on drive C here. That's the Modicon folder. So I copied that deliver project in that folder and now I open that with the control expert. So I go to the control expert, go to file open. And then here I open this delivery project. Okay, so the first step for you is then to yeah, change or adapt the hardware configurations that you are adding, changing the modules that you are really need um, on your PLC, on your rack here. And then the next step is to download the project in the PLC. 
So here I'm working with the PLC simulation. So I have here to switch on the simulation mode. Then I have to connect to my PLC. And then I have to select the project and download it to the PLC. Rebuild and transfer, and now rebuilding and transfer is started. Now after rebuild and download the project to the PLC, we see that it's equal in the PLC. Then the, our next job is <coughs> to import the communication settings here that our PLC can communicate with the plant IT server here. For that, we have to go to the configuration manager and then we go to our Modicon PLC, go to the download. Here we see the standard um, connections that are used between plant IT server and PLC. And uh, according to that standard connections, we can export these settings as an animation table for the control expert. So you see here the right um, di uh, directory was selected, so we can start the export. So after the export, we see here the uh, different communication parameters here. And then we can go back to the control expert and import this animation table here. So with the right mouse click, we start the import. Yes. Okay, then we select this animation table and start the import. Then the con settings were imported, then we open that animation table here. Okay, and then we have um, to activate the modification to show the values in the PLC and the values that come from the animation table, and then we have to write down these values to the PLC. Okay, that's done now, and then we can start the PLC. That was what we have to do in the control expert, and now we can check if our connection is established. So we go back to the configuration manager and in our Modicon PLC, we are selecting the diagnostic field here. Okay, and now we see the time from the PLC was updated. So the first step was done that we have a communication between the PLC and the plant IT server here. Now we have a connection between the plant IT server and the Modicon PLC. So now I want to show you um, the automation classes that are available for the Modicon PLC. For that, we can have a look at the class definition in the configuration manager. So we open here the automation classes. And here we have one section for the basic modules here in the directed control modules for Schneider Electric for the Modicon controllers. And here you get an overview of what is available. So we have one class here for the DB communication, then one for the visualization objects for our Viso recorder. Then we have a logical block here. For example, you can parameterize your interlocks for your valve or pumps. Then we have here our storage location, our phase controller, 
and then the actuators, for example, for the valve, double seat valve, motor controls. Then here we have one class for our frequency converter, then one class for binary inputs and outputs, and also for the analog inputs and outputs, one class for uh, dosing, and one class for the controller, PD controller here. So that's the basic classes here in a directed. And what is also available for the Modicon PLC is all around our sequence logic here. So we have here our class for our sequence then for the process operations, for the root equipment module, the FIFO interface, then the SECOM, the communication between uh, different sequences, and also one class for starting sequences. So here you have an overview of the available classes for the Modicon controller. Okay, next step is then that you can create your automation class objects. And for that, we have uh, yeah, one process cell uh, prepared here for uh, Modicon. So here we have, as an example, parameterized and small tank farm here. But yeah, in the process cell, then you can define location keys and under the location keys, then you can add your automation objects, for example, in valve here and digital control module. For that, you click on the location key, then you make a right mouse click, and then you select insert a new data point here. Then you have to select automation structure objects here. Then you have to select the right automation class. In our case, we have to go to the section directed control modules for the Modicon here. Then we have to select the class 825 here for an actuator. And then we also have to select our right station here. Then we can give in a, a name. And then we can insert the automation object here. So then it was created here. So then you have one parameter record here where you are defining um, the type of the valve that you have. For example, how many um, feedbacks you have, how many outputs you have, then um, different um, times here for monitoring um, the feedbacks. So here you are parameterizing yeah, how, which valve you have in your plant here. After that, you can download the parameters then to the PLC. And then the PLC works. So here in the parameter, when you step up, parameter record valid is say yes. So now it's uh, active and it's working here. Um, also interesting is the status uh, record here. Here you get st status information from your automation class. Okay, and yeah, in this small example here, we are uh, parameterizing a small tank farm. And also in the operation manager, we prepared a process picture for this tank farm. And then you see here, uh, we have then uh, created a process screen with valves, a pump, uh, level sensors here. And yeah, after parameterizing and download the objects in the PLC, then you are also able to open the operator dialogues here. Then you get here information about the interlocks, the interface signals for activating the valves and uh, feedbacks. 
and the outputs here. Yeah, and for example, here now, you can switch the valve here to manual mode. And you can switch it on and off here. So that's, uh, I want to show you in this uh, video clip. So how you create a station, um, create the control expert project um, to set the communication settings, test if the communication is run. I want to give you a short overview of the automation classes and one example that we create in Valve. And after that, after creating the automation objects, we can create also process screens and then we are we are ready for programming our sequence logic here. Okay, so thank you and bye bye.